it's Araya here and I know my hair is probably huge right now. I think I went a little bit too overboard with the hairspray and also my shirt is just very very bright and very red. <laughs> I feel like I just wear black, gray, or white so we're spicing it up a bit. We're adding a bit of color, a little bit of volume to the hair so hopefully the hair doesn't distract you. It'll probably tone down later. I don't know if you noticed in my videos but usually in the intro I have like pretty nice hair and by the end of the video it's literally just straight. Hey girl, bye! Because I just move my hair a lot and then it gets mixed in with a lot of sweat so the curl dies. Is that TMI? But anyway, for today's back to school episode, I will be showing you what is in my MacBook because nowadays a lot of schools are evolving and are beginning to integrate technology into education. We're already in the era of digital learning. <laughs> for me, ever since 8th grade middle school, we were all required to bring our own laptops to school. We never really used textbooks actually. I mean, we had them, we just didn't really use them because it was just more convenient to have everything digitally and my teachers didn't really teach from the book. They kind of just like had their own thing going on, which is a good thing, of course, because it just shows that they really knew what they were talking about. Anyways, my point is that because I've been using my laptop literally for everything school related, I feel like I have a few apps that could really help you guys. Of course, I know that laptops can be a distraction. I am exhibit A for that. The amount of times I spent on Facebook or Instagram on my laptop during school is shameful. But even though that is a reality, there are so many apps that can really help you maximize your learning. So this over here is my little baby, my laptop. I actually customized this case myself. If you want me to make a video on like how to customize a MacBook case, like this video or comment down below because I would be so down to making that DIY video for you guys. And this is the newest MacBook Pro, the 2017 one if I'm not mistaken. And this was actually my graduation gift from my parents. How are we gonna do this? I think I'm gonna move to this side a bit. Is that necessary? How am I gonna edit this? That is the question. Okay. Okay, let's do QuickTime file new screen recording. Is that right? Is that recording? Okay, it's recording. Okay, so when you open my laptop, this is what you see. This is my wallpaper. I actually only have one desktop, as you can see. You can tell over here on the side, I don't have any folders or any type of document or picture or screenshot because I really like having everything clean. So I organize everything into folders. So this is just my finder. I'm not gonna go through all of these because honestly, it's not interesting. Whenever I screenshot something or I save something and I'm not really in the mood to file it into a folder yet, I'll put it here in recent. And see, I have a bunch of stuff here that I'm just too lazy to file into my other folders. That is just a tip, I guess, if you don't want a messy desktop because I personally get so stressed when my desktop is messy and there's just a lot of random things going on. So my suggestion is just make an extra folder where you dump everything and once you're in the mood to organize, then you can just organize to your heart's desire. Once I'm in the mood to organize, Organize, I will organize it into the many other folders I have. Anyways, let's go back to the wallpaper. Let's talk about this for a second. I have one requirement. Okay, I have two requirements <laughs> when I'm looking for a wallpaper. The first is that it has to be bright. The reason behind it, I don't know if there's any scientific or psychological basis to this, but for me, if my wallpaper is bright and for example, I'm like falling asleep in class, which I mean, let's admit, it's not that rare. And then I open my laptop and because my wallpaper is bright, I'm like, whoa, okay, I'm awake now I'm a focus I know I don't know if there's any science in there but that's the way that I think and it seemed to work and the next is that of course it has to be pretty because I mean it's your wallpaper so you're gonna be staring at it quite a lot so this for me is perfect I found this in Pinterest if you want some cute wallpapers Pinterest is your girl and funny story. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna find it funny, but it's pretty cool, okay? I found this quote and it said, there's a lot of beauty in ordinary things, which is like a bomb quote. And I didn't realize that this is actually the very last line in The Office, which is my favorite TV show. Actually, when I got this wallpaper, I had not started watching The Office yet. When I watched it and finished all 10 seasons in like a month, because <laughs> I have a problem, I noticed that this is the very last quote. There's a lot of beauty in ordinary things. It's just like destiny and like God telling me that, yeah girl, 
The Office is your show. Okay, that's enough wallpaper talk. Where do we begin? I'm actually gonna start with the menu bar apps. Because I feel like these apps definitely help a lot in terms of organization, focus. Okay, so the first app we have in here is, no, that is, oh my god, I just screwed up. Okay. Okay, so I thought I was opening a different app. Turns out I opened the screen recording app and I stopped the screen recording. Who wants to bet that at some point in this video, I'm actually gonna forget to screen record something because I bet. The first app here is a Pomodoro app and it is called Be Focused. If you watched my haul video, I talked about the Pomodoro technique a little bit and it's basically a technique to increase productivity. Each Pomodoro session, as you can see over here, is 20 minutes. So that's 20 minutes of focused work. You can actually edit your settings over here depending on your preference. So you can edit the intervals, how long you want each Pomodoro session to be. Like the universal ones, I guess, are a 20 minute interval, a five minute break, and then after four intervals, intervals, it was so weird. After four intervals, you get a 50 minute break. So that's the standard Pomodoro schedule, if you will. And that is what I personally like to follow because it works for me. Actually, my goal for college is every single day, I wanna target two intervals because I feel like my biggest mistake in high school, a habit that I really wanna leave behind is just my procrastination. I'm one of the biggest procrastinators. You know the meme that's like, if today's, if tomorrow's not the due date, today's not the due date, that was my mantra. It was so bad. So bad. <clears throat> Gosh, my voice just vibrated. So my goal is really to do two Pomodoro sessions every single day. It doesn't matter if I don't have anything due the next day. Girl, we're breaking bad habits. Okay, so my dad is playing with my dog right there. So if you hear any panting, that's them. Let's move on. The first thing over here is a Facebook app. And some of you might be like, are you really encouraging bad habits, Raya? The reason behind this is, I don't know if you guys experience this, but sometimes for me, when I study, I get like social media cravings. Is that weird? Like I just like have an itch to go on social media. It's not even that I want to spend a lot of time on it. I just want to like do a quick check if you satisfy that craving by going on the Facebook app or opening the Facebook website. Once you're there and it's like the real deal, you're like just inclined to just spend more than 30 minutes on it and then you're like, oh, I'm screwed. Since this one is just so tiny and you can just like click on and off, it works so well in just satisfying your social media cravings. So whenever I'm like studying and I'm like, oh, what are people doing on Facebook now? Did I get a new Facebook message? I'm just like, check. You have like a mini feed and then you can see your messages so you can check like, okay, not important, not important. No, don't need to reply to that. The next app is called Copy Clip. And this app, you guys, is so good. It comes in handy so often. You know when you're like researching or like writing a paper and then you find like this sentence that's like perfect for your research and you copy it and then you go to another article and you're like, there's another sentence that's like perfect for my research. And then you copy it and then you're like, oh shoot, I didn't paste the first sentence that I originally copied. And then you're like panicking and stressed and then you have to go to your history and go find the article and then go find the sentence of the article. Just to find the first thing that you originally copied but did not paste. But this app over here records everything that you've copied. So instead of doing all that, stressing yourself out, you can just click this little guy. Click whatever you want to copy again. And then it's there, it says copied. You cannot paste a clip. Perfect. Next app over here is just a, a, a the, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> this app is a mail app. So similar to the Facebook one, it just gives you like a little preview. So if you just want to check your mail, see if like your professor replied or if your classmate replied or if you just got any mail, you can just click this and see it. And the last app over here is also great. This isn't really a productivity app. It's more of like a, a health app. <laughs> so this is called F.Lux. They say that staring at a blue screen before going to bed can mess with your body's natural clock. So what this does is that it changes the temperature of your screen. So it makes it super duper warm. You can actually adjust how warm you want it. I personally make it as warm as it can. And it's just so much easier and less stressful on your eyes. Because I love my book school about we really can't avoid staying up late, pulling all those all-nighters. Sometimes we sleep at 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m. Pretty obvious that it's not the best for your eyes. So the small thing we can do to make it a little bit easier on our eyes is to change the temperature of our screen. So you can edit like when you want it to start being warmer. I started at 6 p.m. Okay, that is it for all my menu bar apps. Now we can go into launch pad. The first thing over here is my calendar. So I have my calendar in the top left corner and over here. Why is it different date? It's July 14th. Why is this wrong? Is this never the right date? So anyways, I have it in the top left and top bottom. Bottom? Bottom? 
top bottom corner so that I can easily just like see what day it is because if you're like me you're just like always unaware of what day it is especially that it's summer I just have no idea what day it is just in case I need to write the date somewhere there's a hair in my mouth um it's right there okay next is Safari and Google Chrome Safari I don't use but Google Chrome I do use and apps that I suggest for Google Chrome one Google Drive if your school hasn't switched to Google Drive definitely suggest it it basically has an online version of Microsoft Word so you have Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google my dad's there. <laughs> Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. And what's better about Google Drive is that it's online. So it's so easy to collaborate with other people. You can just share a document and like 40 people can edit the document at the same time. And it's also easy to submit to your teachers because you just like click the share button. And the next is this extension called Mail Track. So Mail Track basically notifies you every single time someone opens your email, which I know sounds maybe kind of weird for some of you. So every time you send on an email if you have this extension turned on it notifies you whenever that person opens that email so you can use that information in whatever way you want <laughs> so mail messages and facetime i don't use on my laptop i use that on my phone next skype and honestly who uses skype anymore <laughs> i feel like nobody really uses skype unless it's for work so i just have that there just in case but i feel like skype was like such a huge thing back in like middle school like eighth grade and ninth grade like skype calls were like the thing it was like the cool kid thing to do and it kind of just died I don't know what happened but people just stopped using Skype next we have reminders notes again both on my phone because it's just so hassle to use it on your laptop next iTunes okay let's do a quick little break actually let's do like a top 10 song girl I'm here for that oh crap. Hello, because I prefer storing my photos on Finder. Next, ito sunod -sunod na to. Some of you guys ask me what apps I use to edit my thumbnails, photos, and videos, and the answer are these three apps, Adobe Photoshop, Final Cut Pro, and iMovie. All my thumbnails I create using Adobe Photoshop. I've tried a lot of editing apps, like a lot, girl, and Photoshop is by far the best photo editing app. You can do so much with it, and Photoshop is not as scary as it sounds. Like, I am honestly like the biggest noob I'm not a professional editor or whatever, but I managed to create thumbnails with this, so don't be scared. It's pretty easy. Final Cut Pro, I will admit, is a bit expensive, especially if you're gonna buy a lot of plugins, but I prefer Final Cut Pro because you can just do a lot of edits so much quicker. Whenever I go back to iMovie, I'm like, shoot, there's so many things that I can't do. A lot of like transition, a lot of effects, but iMovie honestly works well. I used iMovie for the longest time and I was so happy with it. Next is Photo Booth. Again, I don't don't use this at all. Remember like a couple years ago, people would go into like Apple stores just to play with the photo booth and by people, I mean me. Next is GarageBand. I don't use as well because I don't really record or make music. App Store, pretty self-explanatory. Microsoft Office, again, I really don't use this. The only reason why I have this is sometimes when you download documents, they're usually downloaded in this format. So that's just for that, honestly. Next we have Pages, Keynote, and Numbers, which is basically Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Oh, I procrastinate. This is a another app that I really want to talk about. I prefer this over the calendar app and all other calendar apps. Trust me, I've also tried a lot and this is by far the best. I prefer this because it's so much more user friendly and so much simpler. You can input all your subjects and you can change the color, of course, mine are all pink. And then it's so easy because if you want to input like a deadline, you just double click task one. And then you can just scroll here and pick like which subject it's for and there. And then you can see it all there so neatly. Because if, if you use a calendar app, I'm down 
extra unnecessary things like the time, the location, and literally everyone in my school used it. Adobe Acrobat Reader and Preview. Both of these are apps that help you view pictures, PDFs, that kind of stuff. I have Adobe Acrobat Reader because if I'm not mistaken, Preview does not allow you to actually edit the PDF like if you want to edit text, but Adobe Acrobat Reader does. Next we have Calculator, Books, which I don't use as well. They're both, again, on my phone. This is so boring. I'm so sorry. Next we have Dictionary, which really comes in handy because hashtag trying to expand our vocab every single day. Next we have VLC. This is where you can watch your videos. I prefer VLC over QuickTime. VLC reads more formats and it's also just for me more user friendly. As you can see in my media library, I have Friends because I watch that like to make me fall asleep. I mean, I love Friends. It's just that I need like good, happy background noise when I sleep. So this is that. Dashboard, which is just this. Mission Control, which is this. System Preferences, which is just settings. These are just a bunch of apps I don't mess with. There's this Lanny thing. I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna delete that as soon as this video is over. And Spotify, it's over here because I just downloaded it. I'm really getting more into podcasts because I feel like you can just learn so much. So if you have any recommendations for like good inspirational podcasts or any like Christian podcasts, then definitely leave it down below. So that is basically it actually. We're done. That is it. That's everything that's in my MacBook. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's probably really long because I had to change my battery like four times. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button and click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next week for another back to school video. And always remember you're just as beautiful with makeup as you are without. Bye.